Hello, Hello everyone. <laughs> so today we are here as we got bombarded by for last three four months after I started the channel and before that also like we had a lot of questions, uh, especially from you like uh, what are the different problems and challenges and other types of questions during a PhD and you might have seen Nadi because he also uh, collaborated with me before in some. Uh, videos so he's also going to help because he also got many questions during a, what happens during a PhD and what are the other questions surrounding that uh, what is the common format of a PhD interview in the Netherlands so uh, I mean I have a plan to co cover this question in details later but you might have seen in some previous videos where I had a Skype discussion with one of the participants. So based on my experience, I can tell in very brief, like, uh, I mean, as I was an international, so maybe it might be different from someone who is a local or someone who has been here for a long time. Although I was here doing masters, but still it was similar to what you have for an international candidate. Like uh, uh, we had a first round of interview via Skype and then we had to write a brief uh, proposal or they wanted to see how you approach a research problem in a very short like one page or a half page and then there was a uh, on-campus interview where you come over to that place and meet the people who will be responsible for your uh, research and supervising you and then you discuss in detail and they also see uh, what are your past achievements and uh, what projects you have worked on or what is your language and all those things so i as i said like i'm not going to describe it in detail i'll make it a separate video but this is what the common format is like the stages of the interview mm -hmm. and i don't know what's your experience maybe you can add something to it if i miss something yeah because uh, my uh, um, former uh, master thesis supervisor uh, is now uh, my uh, supervisor for my PhD, mm -hmm. so he already knew my work, uh, and he gave me uh, uh, when I was doing my, my masters uh, the direction uh, and the goals, and, and we discussed and talked a lot about it. So he already knew what my capabilities uh, uh, are, uh, and it, it was a natural thing to, mm -hmm. to put it uh, from masters into PhD. So so the transition was very smooth yeah, because yeah. you already had a good. Yeah building yeah we had a strong foundation yeah. and, and we had a fundament on, on which we could work uh, furthermore so yeah that was really easy a way of, of uh, getting into the PhD uh, trajectory mm -hmm. so, yeah. okay enjoy the different parts of the videos and please subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and comment below on all the things that we mentioned so that we can make future videos and we know what are your problems yeah. if you don't leave the comments if you remain silent then yeah. we won't know so yeah. thank you Nadi again for collaborating with this nice thanks for the invite yeah, yeah. yeah. and it was a pleasure <laughs> it will be going on like this yeah. to give you guys all benefits yeah. okay bye till next time peace yeah.